Sending the kids back to school may be a relief to some parents, but for many it also comes at a cost and it's one they're struggling to afford. As well as stocking up on new pens, pencils, shoes and bags, the cost of a new uniform is high on the list of anxieties facing parents and the ongoing credit crunch means more families are feeling the pinch. Now schools are being urged to help by keeping things like the price of uniforms as low as possible. Although supermarkets stock some items for as little as a couple of pounds, some are only available from specialist suppliers. A recent survey found 17% of people could only get selected clothing and kit from one designated shop. Now council leaders are asking schools to help and the local government associations come up with a three-point plan for school uniform policy. Ensure parents can shop around by using at least two suppliers to keep it competitive, symbols and logos available as sew-on patches, and the opportunity to buy and sell second-hand uniform. Parents are also being reminded they have the power to question the cost and availability of uniform at their school. Around half of councils offer families grants to help with the cost of providing uniforms, but during the recession it's feared funding could become more limited. The annual chore of providing the back-to-school shopping list means August is never a cheap month and with parents already under pressure from children to have the latest in expensive trainers or gadgets, it's hoped paying through the nose for a uniform may be one less thing to worry about.